Hello again, it's Locke Newbin. You're watching my side channel, Side Newbin. We haven't done any ration taste testing for ages. Um, just have been really busy over the summer. But I've got a couple of new ones. I've got slightly out of date, but still, let's face it, going to be perfectly fine. Uh, wrench, 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 fashion pack, French ration pack, menu number three, which I don't think I've tried. So it's always nice to try the, the different menus. Um, uh, some of them are, are like, really good some of them are terrible so we're going to try this one out and i've also got an italian one to film another day so yeah i'm going to look forward to that so this one if we look down here has um okay so lamb stew and vegetables could be really nice a poultry to bluer i think that's how you pronounce it forgive me if i've done that wrong uh sardines i actually really like sardines I haven't had them for ages though some soup processed cheese salt and sweet biscuits coffee tea and chocolate then we've got some nougat, fruit jellies, energy bars. I've had some of that before, that's really good. Muesli, ice sonic drink, and um, some chocolate bars, jam, packs of tissues, etc. So let's open this up and have a look at what we actually get. Uh, okay, so to open from each side. So we're gonna see what we actually get in here. Cool, it's been a while actually since I've seen a a French ration pack. So these are the biscuits. Biscuits St. George. Biscuits d'Army Champagne. Cool. So uh, we've got some salted ones, some cereal bars, and some chocolate biscuits. Sorry. <laughs> so yeah, these biscuits, I don't think I've seen these ones before. These are St. George's bi uh, Biscuits d'Army Champagne. Champagne or whatever. Um, so you've got three bags of salted biscuits, cereal ones, and chocolate biscuits. Ah, that's kind of cool. I don't think I've seen that. I'm like, excited about that. Um, oh, these are cute. Look, a little little energy bar and some nougat. I bet you that they're actually really nice. That's just one of the um, stoves, survival stoves. We're not going to deal with that. I'll be using a microwave. Got some uh, muesli here, which I is just add water, so it must have the milk powder in there. They, they're sometimes quite nice. Uh, let's put some of these over here out of the way. Actually looks pretty good to be honest, like a chocolate muesli, kind of nice. What's this one? This is... Ah, fromage fondue. Oh, uh, oh fromage de chèvre. Um, or whatever, we oui, chef, we oui, chef. Look at that, we oui, chef, he looks very happy. Um, so, Maison Lazul, um, House of Lazul. So yeah, bit of, it's just gonna be processed cheese, isn't it? A tiny little coffee energy bar. I, I really hate coffee flavored stuff, so I'm not going to be enjoying that. Um, a whole pack of stuff, which I probably will make up some of. Well, that didn't work out very well. Okay, so we've got some salt and pepper, which will be very handy later. Uh, sugar, I have sugar in my coffee, so I'll be adding that. Got some uh, Lipton tea. Lipton do like the worst tea in the world, um, in my opinion. Uh, it's, it's just not strong enough. Uh, in the UK, we, we're very much like PG tips and and um, Yorkshire tea uh, uh, and anything else. Just is is pretty bad. Um, so yellow label, green mint tea. Green mint tea, I like mint tea. Mint tea could be all right. Lipton's um, uh, flavoured teas are actually pretty good. It's just the standard breakfast teas, uh, just not strong enough. What else we got here? Coffee. Not a fan of freeze-dried coffee, but we will drink some. Um, a bit of hot chocolate, always nice. What else do we have here? Are these sardines? Yes, actually really nice tin. Don't you reckon that's a nice tin? In uh, olive oil as well, extra virgin olive oil, rich in omega-3s. Um, I really, I love this design, actually. That is a really cool design. Um, very classic, very, um, yeah, sort of, I don't know, just that turn of the century, last, the, not last century, century before kind of design. Very dark chocolate. My wife will probably eat the rest of that. Um, I'll probably have a little bit. I've had this before. The, these, this is like my favorite one. This is like a fruit jelly, love that. What else we got in here? Some soup, we'll make that up. Got some apricot. Plum jam, plum jam. Very cool, look at that, plum jam. Some isotonic sports drink there. 
normally a bit rubbish. Napkins, always useful. And these actually, did, come on, these actually look really good from the outside. I mean, I, I, I don't know what they're going to be like when I make them up. A bit of a dent in this one, but this one with the, um, just having a look down here. So it's got lots of chicken, tomatoes, oil, onions. Yeah, so, I mean, this looks really nice. And then this one is, well, just like a classic sort of lamb stew, doesn't it? Um, so yeah, it's got some, it's obviously quite heavy on the old, uh, um, well, okay, so it's got 41% lamb with some potatoes and carrots, peas, um, just oil, butter, I mean, it's actually pretty good ingredients in that, I have to say. So, yeah, it looks really nice. So, where to start, where to start, where to start. Um, I normally start with, like, the general um, uh, snacks, cereals, uh, tea and coffee. So, we're going to probably start with um, making up some drinks. I'll make the meals up a bit later. Um, so, I'm going to go with, like, I'll do the, all of these things sort of in one go. Uh, so, and then we'll, we'll start out with all the sort of snacky things and some drinks. So yeah, I'm going to go away and start making making some stuff up. All right, so uh, yeah, made all the drinks up. Now, I normally have my breakfast tea with milk. There are no like milk packets or sachets or dried milk or anything. So we're not going to do that. I'm going to have it black. I've got mint tea, coffee, black tea, hot chocolate, and the cytosonic drink. So I'm just going to start here because it's, uh, it's cold. And let's uh, see what it's like. I think it's mango. Let's have a try. Mm. Oh no, it is, but it's something, it's, it tastes like, ah, no, no, that's, it's like the sweetest, like, fake mango flavour ever. I'm going to go in again, but that, it, it, it's like, it's like somebody made the mango juice using their feet. It's just, it's horrible. Ah, no, no, that is vile. That's one of the worst isotonic drinks I've ever had. Uh, I'm gonna go this way and try the the hot chocolate, which actually looks all right. The cocoa smells good, actually. It smells really good. It smells like a thousand times better than mango foot juice over there. Gross. Oh, nice. Too sweet. Very, very sweet. Way too sweet, but good. Do you know what I mean? It's like, mmm. Like I keep coming back to that and complaining that it was too sweet every single time, but I'll keep going back to it. I got high hopes for the mint tea. I added a little bit of the sugar to this because um, I just like a pinch of sugar in fruit teas, or in this case, herbal teas. Nice, nice. It's actually pretty refreshing. It tastes a little bit like um, chewing gum, but not in a bad way. Just, uh, yeah, it's got that sort of smear spear minty flavor. Perfectly nice. I'm gonna leave the coffee till last because it actually smelt like I was washing a wet dog when I was making it. Just it had uh, nothing about that was like, yeah, yeah. You can see this is a really strong color. I left that back to steep and still like virtually no flavor at all. I mean, yeah, I had a few pints last night, so maybe my taste buds are ruined, but I still just just no. It's it, like it's like fine. I would drink that, but you could drink like a hundred of these and still not really feel any effects. Mm. It's okay. And then the coffee. Ugh. It's just like, I don't know, some abandoned poodle. And it's just, it just smells. It's got a whole sachet of sugar in it. No, it's just so bitter. It's like, it really is like the coffee scrapings from the floor with the scent of, of, uh, yeah, damp, damp dog and just, and it's, it's, it's just like, it's literally more bitter than I am. It's just rank. Okay. So out of tens, um, do I do it out of 10 or out of five? Let's do it out of five. Why, why go so high? So this is clearly a, a zero. I, I wouldn't give this to my worst enemy. This, this mango, I'm going to taste it, can't I? Yeah. It's a combination between medicine and and feet that really put you off the mango taste in there and it's just so sweet so that's a no for me definitely like a a solid zero out of five hot chocolate and one more taste oversweet but not too bad three mint tea 
yeah, it's refreshing. It's a four. I, I'd actually probably, out of all of the, th the ones I've made, I'd probably drink this. In fact, I probably will actually just drink this to myself later on. Um, it's, it's pretty good. The coffee, I don't even want to touch the mug. It's so vile. I'm not even going to go back for a second taste. This is a zero. It's like bad coffee. Do you know what? It's a one. Because even bad coffee is sometimes necessary, right? You know, it's like it's bad coffee. But if you really need a coffee, this you just might suck it up to, to, to have that coffee. And the tea. It's going to be a two because it's not offensive. Well, maybe even a three. It's not offensive. It just isn't anything either. It, it, it tastes very similar to the water you made it with. So if you like water, you'll love this. Um, so we've got... Oh, sort of drinks sorted. Let's go for our sort of midday snacks. Uh, I guess you could call this um, uh, cereal here like a morning breakfast thing. It looks actually pretty good. Let's zoom in a bit. You can just see it's, it's got loads of nice things in it. Chocolate chips or cocoa nibs, actually cocoa nibs and um, chocolate uh, little buttons there. It generally looks nice. It's just made with water. I'll let it um, stand for a while to uh, get everything nice and, and, and like milky with that milk powder. So let's go in with a big spoonful. Right, ready? Mmm. Mmm. That's delicious. That's so good. I will eat that. I'll eat all of that up. That's so nice. It's not even too sweet. The cocoa nibs make it slightly bitter. All the grains in there are delicious. That's like premium quality cereal. Love it. I like, really love it. This soup here. Um... It's potage, it's basically like a like a stew uh, flavour. It smells it smells beefy um, and a bit tomatoey. It, it, it looks pretty good. Um, yeah, oh, that was nice. Got a fork here because right at the bottom, I'll give it a bit more of a stir. But you see, it's got these little um, like pasta noodle things and I guess I'm gonna say carrot let's try these I think it's carrot the noodles are pretty good I'm gonna go again yeah now stir that up I've got more of a herby flavor that is solid that's a solid cup of soup mmm it's a packet soup right it's never gonna be great but it's not bad now I've got a ring a trio of biscuits Let's uh, go in here and see what we get. Wow, loads of them. This is great. So we've got chocolate, I think, are these ones. I think, yeah, that's chocolate. I've got salted, and I think I've got cereal. So I think um, I'm going to go cereal with some plum jam on. I reckon that's actually going to be really nice. Shane's no butter. The French... Like make have epic butter, like really lovely butters. Um, so I don't know why we don't get some. I know it's probably not a really long shelf life, but let's stick some plum jam on here, which actually looks pretty good. There we go. Let's have a go with that. Hmm. Okay. Well, a biscuit could be better. It's a little bit stale. Um, the jam's a bit oversweet, but honestly, if I woke up cold all morning and I just wanted a snack, this is this is perfect. Mm. I don't know what the chocolate goes with, um, but it actually looks all right. It's got some streaks of chocolate in it, I think. Have a go, just on its own. Um. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's got no like flavour on its own. Let's crumble a bit into the cereal. And try it as like a an extra texture. Not bad. Yeah. I'll throw these in with that. What about the? Can we do a bit of um Dunkin' with the hot chocolate? Let's soak for a bit. Let's get some real flavour in there. Nah, that adds nothing. Um, bland. Better in cereal, honestly. Um, so the salt crackers, these could be quite good. 
try those. Um, and let's try some, I don't want to open this tin. I just love that, that look so much. Hopefully it will open up without splashing fish juice everywhere. They look nice. I need some hot sauce with this though. Oh, I am getting fish juice everywhere. Perfect. Okay, well, um, lucky I have a, wow, that smells, as you'd imagine, sardines do. Um, but I've actually got a kitchen wipe thing here, so uh, that isn't so bad. I'm clean all that up. Just doing it now to get rid of uh, the latent fish smell. Right, I've got um Okay, they, they're nice and soft. No, not very bony either. These these are good. Skin on, as you'd expect. That olive oil doesn't smell like super premium olive oil, though. It smells a bit like um, engine grease, but it might taste great. But what I will do is I'm going to put a bit of... I've um, got some salt and pepper here. I really like a bit of pepper on my fish. If I don't have hot sauce, pepper will do. A little bit of salt. Let's give that a go. I'm actually, that actually looks pretty good, don't you reckon? I reckon that looks pretty tasty. Let's give it a go. Mmm. 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 So, a fish tastes great. A cracker's average. The only problem is, is that oil, it, it just, it, it tastes like diesel. It's just not nice. So it's a shame because I, I don't think I'll eat the rest of that. Oil tastes stale. Um, yeah, yeah, I couldn't, couldn't recommend. Maybe if it's fresher. Let's try the fromage. Give a good slug of that on a cracker as well. Here we go. Hmm. Mmm, 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 okay, okay, for processed cheese, that's pretty strong, and not unpleasant way, in an unpleasant way, it's really tasting the taste, uh, taking the taste of um, the engine oil, and mixed with diesel, away from the fish, that is proper nice, mmm, well, going to be a while, before the flavour of that goes away. I might have some more soup. Ah, oh, yeah. You know, the fish, I think it's just out of date. And it tastes like it. So out of five, zero for the fish. Probably not its fault, but that taste will take a long time to go. This, Five out of five, easy. We're gonna have more, hold on. Mmm, mm, 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 mm. That is so good. Salt crackers, three. Chocolate ones, three. Cereal ones, three. None of them are bad, none of them are good. They just are. Soup, solid four out of five. It's a good soup for um an instant soup. And the cheese is a good three and a half, I'd say. I mean, it's processed cheese, what do you want? But it does taste all right, it's pretty good. Okay, on to the mains. And I have to say that they actually look better than the really good pictures on the front of those tins. These look fantastic. Lamb stew, chicken with bulgur wheat. I got, um, I'm going to, I, I know that I want to add salt and pepper to this, so I'm just gonna add a generous amount to each. I just, you know, I haven't really tried it yet, but I know I'm gonna do it anyway, so let's just, let's just, just cut out all the pretense. It's going to happen. There we go. Perfect. Right. So I'm excited to try both of these. These look genuinely great. Um, the French have a fantastic tradition of tinned and jarred foods, which are really edible. In the UK, yeah, we get some good stuff, but <sighs> the French just do better, man. So yeah, we've got, I mean, look at the lamb chunks here. Look, just look, these are sizable. I'm gonna, just gonna go in. And they look, they look like they've been browned before they've been cooked. Like, not just thrown in raw. Let's try it. Mmm. Oh my goodness. I'm not over-exaggerating for the camera. That doesn't taste fresh, but my goodness, does it taste close to it. 
Carrots are a bit mushy. Yeah, peas. I've never liked tin peas, but it's acceptable. Bit of uh, potato. Not bad altogether. Uh, that's a bit fatty there. I'm, I'm not a big fan of um, animal fats particularly, but let's have a go. A nice big, I mean, that's a nice big portion, right? Let's go. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my goodness. That is, that is damn good. That is really good. I think I've eaten worse in restaurants, even in France. I'm not joking. Um, this is, this is so good. I, mean, I can't stop going back. That is like, I'd buy this and eat it, like, as a store cupboard, uh, like, lazy meal. Generally good. I probably should have started with this. It's rich, it's a bit fatty, but just not in a bad way. It's like, like, good animal fats. Just so nice. Let's try this one then. So... It looks good again, but look at the size of these chicken chunks. And look at the colour on them as well. Look look here. That's been roasted or browned in a in a pan first. It's uh Mmm. Okay, dried mint. It's got dried mint. Which is not what I was expecting. Um let's try it all together then. It's not bad. I was not expecting the dried mint flavour. I was expecting maybe something um I don't know. Less 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 punchy, less 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 minty. <laughs> but it's not bad. And this chicken, I'm gonna get another big chunk of that chicken here. Um, let's have a go. Look at that big chunk, look at that. Mmm. I mean tin chicken is normally the worst, generally. But again, I've actually been sold worse in pretty decent restaurants. No joke. Um, it's a bit mushy, but it's pleasant. But it's this one that I want to keep going back to because this actually tastes like proper food. I mean, they're never going to be fives, right? Um, but I would have either of these again as a tin in, in the store cupboard for those uh, days where you just want something a bit different. We don't have time to prep a meal. And these are much better than a lot of the fresh microwave meals that uh, and pre-prepared meals that I get from like the fresh counter or even frozen. The, it's genuinely that good. So impressed. In fact, I'm gonna give them both fives, not because they are a five out of 10, not that I'll go to a restaurant and be happy that I've had this. They're not that high quality, but for what they are, just a meal in a tin. I don't think you can do better than this. The flavours are insane. The chunks of meat are huge and juicy. The chicken is browned and flaky still. Um, I mean, like, zero complaints. After the awful engine grease fish I just had a minute ago. This is like a different world to that. These are delicious, no joke. We got a whole load of stuff here and I don't know where to start. So um, let's go with the energy bars. These are normally powdery and not very nice. Yeah, look at that. Just, ugh. I mean, it doesn't, I'm gonna try it, but um, um ugh. It tastes like it's been sleeping with that mango feet juice. I think that's um, that's a big no for me. Yeah, no. Oh, let's go for the cap. I hate coffee flavored things. I adore coffee. I adore coffee. I'm gonna take the smallest amount. I'd rather eat the that greasy fish again than eat this. I love coffee so much and coffee flavored things. It's so horrible and usually so bitter. No. No, please, please don't. I mean, I have to, I'm actually going to go back. I need more of the horrible apricot one to take the bitter, bitter taste away of that coffee. Uh, and I've had some good coffees in France, like really good. 
that is not a good example of the flavour. Okay, onto that dark chocolate. It's got a bit of bloom on it. It's not bad, it's just older. It doesn't really detract from the taste, only the look. That is really dark, okay. Mm. Oh, that has some snap. That is almost like crunchy. I would take that into this for even more chocolate flavour. No joke. It would go so well. That is nice as actually wow. That aftertaste is good. I'm not a dark chocolate fan. But man, that tastes good. From um Klaus. Well done, Klaus. Um now I'm gonna try this one because I love Nougat. And it looks pretty good actually. So look at this. Yeah, good. Um, mm, 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 mm. a bit stale, but I know I'm gonna eat the rest of it. <laughs> so that's um, yeah. And last, I know it's my favourite. The chocolate was good. I've had these before, and I just love these. Um, it's a bit, oh, it's a bit dry, isn't it? It could be better, a bit past it, but um, hmm, oh yeah, oh so nice, hmm. Fruity, sticky, sweet, and because it's a bit old and dried. Almost tastes like a fruit pastel, which I think is actually almost better. So out of ice. Um, Nougat, four. NG bars, one. Both of them are one. You could eat them, but they're not good. The fruit thing, four and a half. And the dark chocolate, I'm going to say it's a five. I don't like dark chocolate, but it is nice dark chocolate. I, I mean, I can't, I can't knock it. So overall for menu three, um, some real highs and lows, actually. Um, the fish was absolutely vile. The drinks, by and large, are pretty rank. But the stuff you see here, um, I would eat again with with no hesitation. Not even a uh, yeah, wouldn't even pause to think about it. The chicken's great. Not a big fan of the mint, but it's a good dish. The lamb is sensational. That cereal is top premium stuff. The soup, it's just soup, but it's good soup. The mint tea. Yeah, the more I drink it, the more I like it. And um, and the chocolate, the nougat, and the fruit bar, really nice. That is good. So overall, out of five, I've got to give this one um, maybe four, a four overall, just to the strength of what you see in front of you. I had to knock at least a mark off. I was thinking of three and a half, but I'm going to be generous for the the disgusting drinks, fish, and um, and the mg bars but yeah i'm feeling generous it's gonna get a four just because it's really carried by what you see here so there you go that was um the french combat rations menu number three hope you enjoyed it as much as i did reviewing it and i'll see you all next time